A pair of Tahlequah women step up to help former tenants of a rooming house that the city forced to close. Dennis reporter Brandon Richard shows us how the women are helping. Brandon. Well, I'm standing outside what used to be the Stepping Stone rooming house. It closed its doors nearly two weeks ago, forcing many residents to start over. But we've learned they're not doing it alone. For residents of the Stepping Stone boarding house, it's been a roller coaster month. First, the murder of two-year-old Dakota Sanders. Police say his own mom and stepdad strangled him to death. Then, city officials ordered the rooming house closed for code violations, leaving some residents like Heaven Braddy fearful of the future. It's hard. It's like ripping your heart out. After hearing the struggles, Denise Legrand and her friend Tony decided to get involved. They not only collect donations, but help displaced residents sign up for assistance programs. There were very few people that were actually doing anything to help the residents. It was shut down without any organized effort to make sure that those people got into home somewhere else. We followed along as Denise checked on Heaven, who's now a new mom. Heaven is still adjusting, but is thankful for Denise. Oh yeah, Denise has been a big help. And, you know, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have that car seat. We'd probably be still stuck at the hospital. Even though it's a lot of work, Denise says it's the right thing to do. Because we all want it to be somebody else's problem. And the reality is until one person steps up and says, I will help. Bye -bye. Then it's easy for everybody to let it be somebody else's problem. Of course, Dakota's death is what many people think of whenever they think of the uh, rooming house. Coming up tonight at 6, I'll show you where the murder investigation stands today. Reporting live in Tahlequah tonight, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. Thank you, Brandon.